Lunatics Unleashed? I do. Oh yeah, no, we don't want to look at this anymore. Lunatics Unleashed was a weird thing, you know? Weird in the sense that it came out in 2005, but it's totally something you'd expect to come out today. I mean, really think about it. We've got My Hero Academia making huge waves in the anime community. We've got the Marvel Cinematic Universe really popping off fucking in-game and shit being the biggest, being some of the biggest, being several of the biggest movies of all time. And then we have Looney Tunes. Not really doing much right now. But we have pretty huge pieces of Eastern and Western media being distinctly superhero themed. I can totally see some executive going, hey, let's capitalize on this. Let's, ca let's cash in here. But no, that's not in fact what happened. What happened was they did this shit 15 years ago, God. 15 years ago. I'm old. Oh, God. 15. Anyway, Jesus. How old was I? How old was I? It's 2020. me. What? No way. Oh, also, I'm a fucking idiot. Wait, no, that's not how you do it. Shut up. Uh, go away. We're gonna edit this out. A few inches later. It's the year you were born, not the year. 3.28 a.m. Yeah, no, I... Wait, damn it. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, it's the year you were born, and the, the year that I'm talking about, I was 10. I could have figured that out with my fucking brain, too. This is going to be kind of a, a research stream, even though it's not live because I'm scared. This is going to be a like research a research stream. stream, and I can't edit live videos. A research, research, research stream. stream. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be looking at this article. This is an article from the New York Times. This is in 2005 when the show was released talking about Lunatics Unleashed. Four months after initial designs caused an internet uproar. Halfway through the first sentence and I already need to know what this internet uproar is. Lunatics Unleashed had a promo of the show air on network. Okay. The original trailer sparked controversy. Interesting. Uh, Daffy Duck said the n-word and no, it was just... It was just people didn't like the look of the show, I guess. The harsher designs and dark setting hit the mainstream. Lunati or Looney Tunes fans around the world complained about what they saw as an attempt to appeal to its demographic. Interesting. How dare you try to appeal to my demographic and utter disrespect for its source material. Oh. 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 Broke the news this past Here, week. Let me ask. Bugs Bunny is having an extreme makeover, oh. transformed into a lean, mean, futuristic fighting machine. Oh boy. More Darth Vader than the wascally wabbit we knew. Darth Warner Vader. Brothers is pushing Bugs and his Looney Tune buddies oh. off into the 28th century, okay. recasting them as lunatics, turning the mischievous hair into a crime fighter, called for now Buzz Bunny. Yeah, this does look really bad. If I saw it, I'd be like, yo, mm, 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 it doesn't look very good. Why is he blue? Why is he blue? Interesting. Um, but like, these, de these designs are alright. These designs are alright. He's red now, that's good. Like, look at them. They all have... Yeah. No, this is good stuff. Um, this is less good. The, the initial designs weren't the best, alright? They weren't the best. One fan, Thomas Adams. An 11-year-old from Tulsa, Oklahoma <coughs> started a petition at his school and a website... Bro. This 11-year-old started a fucking website. Save our Looney Tunes. 
When will you learn? Please tell me it's still there. Huh? Sports news? This isn't Save Our Looney Tunes. What was that, um, like, internet, like, archive thing? Come on. Come on! 2000, no, 2005? Um, here, uh, let's use the June 6th. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything from June 6th. Maybe the 14th? of May. Yo! Yo! Uh, <laughs> yes! Save our Looney Tunes! Sign the petition! <laughs> what are they doing to our- <laughs> You freaking fricks! What are they doing to our Looney Tunes? Check out this cast of dark characters. Warner Brothers believes this is how I think the 11 year old sounded. <laughs> Warner Brothers believes kids are bored with the classic characters. Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Wile E. Coyote, the Tasmanian Devil, Road Runner, is it Road Runner or The Road Runner? Road Runner and Lola Bunny. Therefore, they are introducing descendants of these characters in the form of lunatics. <clears throat> Thomas Adams. I, oh shit, wait, should I not say that? I mean, he's like a grown man now, right? He's older than me. After Thomas Adams, an 11 year old from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and a hero. It doesn't say that, but, but I added that because it's true. Learned of the changes Warner Brothers has planned. They jumped into action. Thomas was inspired to develop this site. I wish I could develop sites at 11 years old. He contacted a cl Oh, 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 of course. <laughs> it never occurred to me that maybe an adult did this instead of the 11 year old from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, whatever. And asked him if there was something he could do to help. He was delighted to help. Given Thomas's passion and the Save Our Looney Tunes website, I mean .com, I forgot the .com, website was born. Even he has them over here. This is great. Two, for one, this is turning into a Bane voice. We think it would be better to start with a completely different cast of characters to create their 700 years into the future. I'm gonna stop that now. Lunatic series. Like who? Like who? Kid? From from 2005? Who? Who, are, who? who? What? Elmer Fudd? You want him to do Elmer Fudd? Like what? You mean like a completely different? Like completely original? Whatever. What, what would the point of that be? I wanna see Bugs Bunny with fucking katanas. Anyway. You wouldn't change the Mona Lisa. Bruh. You don't know me, kid. Leave our classic Looney Tunes characters alone. If you want, if you would like to join this effort, please click on the petition button to the left and enter the information it requests. We respect your privacy and will not ask for any sensitive information. Never give that kind of information to anyone who contacts you via the internet. Very nice. We sign in this petition to go back in time and prevent this from ever happening. Don't look at this. This isn't a... Uh, don't look at it. Don't look at it, though. You don't know. You can't see. It's very... Uh, this is private information. Although it... No, it has been. It has been 15 years. It has been 15 years since the release of this show. I stand by. What was his name? Thomas? Oh, right. This isn't a real website. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoops. Anyway. Oh. Oh. Wait, did the Batman come out in 2005? 2004. Oh. And that's WB because they own uh, DC. Okay, this is all... It's all starting to come together. Okay, so in 2003 they made Teen Titans and that was WB as well. And then in 2004 they made The Batman, which is already, he has a history of being dark. Lunatics, I mean the Looney Tunes doesn't really have that history, but I can kind of see the train of thought there. Um, they're like, yeah, like Teen Titans, great reception. I assume The Batman, listen, The Batman, it sucks because it's like, it's like kind of coming to terms with the idea that Oh, I guess everyone hated this? Uh, I didn't know. I, I was a kid, I liked it. The Batman? It's probably my favorite Batman because it's the one that I've seen the most um, as far as the animated um, ones go. I didn't grow up with Batman, the animated series. I grew up with the Batman and the Batman had a great Joker, had a great Riddler. The Riddler from the Batman was fucking great. Um, et cetera, et cetera. Ragdoll? Ragdoll? So yeah, it, it, it kind of, I'm gonna say anime adjacent, because uh, some of these don't really come off as anime inspired, uh, except for Teen Titans. With a techno-like soundtrack, bright kinetic displays of action. That similarity was intentional, executive said. It was designed for children who grew up on anime to fit into the WB schedule, where it would be along with the Batman, Pokemon, and Jowlin Showdown. All kind of, I, apparent, I mean, Pokemon is a straight up anime. Uh, Batman uh, apparently is meant to be anime inspired and Jalen Showdown is heavily inspired by uh, Eastern um, what's it's and who's it's um, so it's like okay we want another show with the Looney Tunes to kind of slot into um, our existing lineup of, of heavily uh, anime influenced shows and we're understanding that kids these days kids these days are all growing up you know, they're all hopped up on that Naruto bullshit. Okay, the Lunatics tested favorably with focus groups of the intended audience. Uh, children age 6 to 11. Hey, that was me. That was me. Remember that other one said parents were the ones. This one in the New York Times. The New York Times, bro. Give it up for the New York Times. Give it up for the New York Times. Really, really covering this Looney Tunes. What they said specifically was that was that parents hated the Looney Ticks. Parents. They didn't say anything about what the kids wanted. What about the kids, huh? What about what the kids want? Where's Looney Ticks Unleashed Season 3? So obviously it wasn't too scary for them. It wasn't too dark for them. And you know, you know when the initial designs for the Looney Ticks came out, it wasn't a bunch of 6 to 11 year olds hopping on the blogosphere and going i hate it why do they have to change except for this one 11 year old all right except for the one 11 year old that had a website commissioned and a petition started to protest you know it wasn't a bunch of six to 11 year olds on there it was grown-ass men like me complaining <laughs> complaining about this working with the descendants of such yada 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 our hearts are in the right their hearts were in the right place right here where they're supposed to be. Now I hope that the audience and the, and the critics and the people who are initially put off put by the art will come around and appreciate the show for its own merits, okay? That's what we're here to do. We're here to come around and we're here to appreciate the show on its own merits. I feel like I've learned a lot. I feel like I've learned too much. It's time to fucking lunatic, alright? It's time to watch fucking lunatics.